Welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes Book Summary. Today we are going to explore the book, Range. Why Generalists Triumph in a Specialized World, by David Epstein. The book explores the benefits of being a generalist, or someone who has a broad range of skills and knowledge, in a world that often values specialization and expertise. The book is based on the premise that the most successful and innovative people are often those who have a diverse range of interests and experiences and who are able to draw on a wide range of knowledge and skills to solve complex problems. According to Epstein, there are several key reasons why generalists are often more successful than specialists. One of the main reasons is that they are more adaptable and flexible, and are better able to adapt to changing circumstances and to pivot in new directions when necessary. They are also better able to see connections and patterns that specialists might miss, and are more likely to come up with creative and innovative solutions to problems. A few examples to mention here. First, Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin was a quintessential generalist, with interests and expertise in a wide range of fields, including science, literature, politics, and business. His diverse skills and interests enabled him to make significant contributions in many different areas, and he is remembered as one of the most influential figures in American history. Second, Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was a painter and artist who is widely regarded as one of the greatest artists of the 20th century. He was a generalist who was interested in a wide range of subjects and who was able to draw on his knowledge and skills from a variety of fields to create innovative and influential works of art. And lastly, Mary G. Ross. Mary G. Ross was a mathematician and aerospace engineer who made significant contributions to the field of rocket science and to the development of the space program. She was a generalist who was able to draw on her knowledge and skills from a variety of fields, including mathematics, engineering, and science, to make important contributions to her field. Another reason is that generalists are often more well-rounded and well-adjusted individuals, who are more likely to have a balanced and fulfilling life. They are also more likely to be well-respected and well-liked, and to have a wide network of friends and colleagues who can help them to achieve their goals. To support his argument, Epstein draws on a wide range of examples and research, including studies of the careers of successful people, analyses of the performance of sports teams and other organizations, and examples from fields as diverse as science, art, and business. He also explores the ways in which our education and training systems often prioritize specialization over generalization, and the ways in which this can lead to missed opportunities and missed potential. In conclusion, Range is a thought-provoking and timely exploration of the benefits of being a generalist in a world that often values specialization. It is a valuable resource for anyone interested in the ways in which a diverse range of skills and experiences can help to drive success and innovation.